planter la balle au départ du 1, entendre son nom au départ du 1 et se dire, allez, la partie, elle commence. When I turned pro, I felt quite lonely first on tour. You have to be focused, have the right attitude, have the right mindset. It's a test of what I've learned. Tous les jours, je me lève le matin en me disant, bah, je veux jouer au golf, je veux performer et je veux bien jouer, quoi. Yeah, I think it has a big impact on the physical point because I feel after three or even two weeks sometimes I feel really tired. I need to make sure I get get some rest to do some stuff for the regeneration too, to make sure the body is all good for the next week. I think I learned that in during the first couple of years when I turned pro because at the beginning I thought I need to practice, practice, practice. And I was so tired after a while. And then, yeah, I, was, I spoke to some people and they said, oh, you need to make sure you take some rest to uh, take some time off. But learning that was definitely hard and it took me quite some time, but now I know it's <laughs> much better. J'essaye de m'entraîner beaucoup. Je passe beaucoup d'heures aussi à la salle de sport. Je dirais en semaine, je dois passer à peu près un peu plus de 5 heures, 6 heures par jour. But when you're home and you're doing your training sessions, normally you go to the golf course in the morning, you practice on the driving range or putting green or chipping green until midday, and then I always go in the afternoon on the, on the course. I should and I'm supposed to take a few hours off per day to be able to be efficient. Otherwise, your work is not efficient if you don't take the, the rest you need. It really golf depends on how you react to situations. So you might have a week that you are more under pressure, another week that you are relaxed, another week that you are tired but you are performing perfectly. If the things don't go as you want, I think this is the, the worst part because you are involved in a negative things and everything in your head, so I think this is the most difficult. Have the right attitude, have the right mindset. So I think being calm and being mindful This is very important. And always take the positive out of it, because sometimes we are too critical on ourselves. And also being aware of all the elements. The wind, the light, the type of grass. And also uh, feel what's going on into one's body. I like to be in a bubble when I'm in the tournament or playing on the course. You have to be focused. And then when I'm on the hotel, I like to be open mind, do things, and don't think in gold. So I think it's important to separate both things. When I turned pro, I felt quite lonely first on tour. At the beginning, it was weird because I was there having dinner by myself, no one sitting next to me. When I see younger players coming on tour, I'm trying to give them the feeling now that they're not alone. I think that would have helped me a lot if um, some players would have come to me and helped me a little bit or give me some advice. It's always nice to learn something else from another person. And you have to be curious and to get so many more information. J'ai toujours appris à tout faire toute seule depuis toute petite sur le parcours, donc je vais vraiment commencer à travailler avec quelqu'un qui va m'aider dans la stratégie. Et du coup, c'est vraiment un partage, donc c'est quelque chose de nouveau, donc je vais devoir apprendre à travailler avec un caddie. Aussi, c'est une forme d'exutoir pour moi de pouvoir discuter, surtout d'avoir quelqu'un à qui parler, et, euh, enfin, en qui j'ai confiance sur le parcours, quoi. À l'esquerde, de ce côté. 25 ans. 25 ans. Okay. Ah, pardon, c'est un peu plus de l'autre côté. Ah, non, c'est le banquier. De la bolsa du... Okay. During the tournament, it's a teamwork with your caddy. You have to get prepared for every single shot, visualize it, just have some advices as well from him. But then you, you have to understand as well the consequences if you miss a shot. Your caddy is there to tap on your back and say, I was right. But uh, after we can go in the back right, but at the moment, uh, what do you have to the pin? Uh, 157. 
I rely a lot on my team. Uh, if I'm there today, it's because of my team. And uh, if uh, I manage to be really, really good one day, it will be because of my team. I mean, thanks to my team, for sure. The best vibes are when I am on a tournament, it's the adrenaline. And when you hit the first shot uh, in the fairway, you're like, okay, the day is gone and now we can, we can roll it and try to do my best. C'est être en compétition qui m'excite le plus. It's amazing to play with public and when they're cheering for you, they, they don't care about your result, but they just want uh, to come at the tournament, have fun and enjoy cheering at you. That's the best thing ever. Lucie Machiron. Entendre son nom au départ du 1 et se dire allez la partie elle commence on va essayer de donner le le meilleur de soi et euh, toujours être à fond. It's a proof of or a test of what I've learned et c'est pour ça que tous les jours je me lève le matin en me disant bah je veux jouer au golf je veux performer et je veux bien jouer quoi. For me, it's not hard to get the motivation for the day because I'm so competitive and I love to put myself under pressure and having the challenge. In the morning, when I wake up, I'm already in the right mindset. When I'm starting a new week, I'm ready to go. 